Hi, it's Tommy from Bird Street Studio. Um, this journal that I'm going to do a flip through um, of right now is actually for a, my great niece who is not born yet. Um, I am headed up to North Carolina over the weekend. I'm going to drive up with the puppy uh, so that I can be there to help my niece and get to see my new great niece. But anyways, I didn't do any kind of uh, videos showing any of the work I did um, because this is going to post after she after I get up there because um, I don't want her to see it until I arrive up there. So I'm going to go ahead and schedule this probably for the day after I arrive. And uh, so that's when you'll be seeing it and hopefully she will have seen it by then also. Um, but anyways, it's a fairy journal and I'm going to stand up so I can see what you're seeing a little bit. So I want to just show you the cover. This material, um, I got, I buy all my material from a girl in Montana and I love them. And I love this because it had butterflies and dragonflies and that on it. And I thought that that went perfect with um, fairies. And then here's a graphic. The, I cut these graphics out on the front and put them on a piece of old scrapbook paper that I had. And I used um, gold gilding wax and the gold leaf trim. And then this is just some, bi some bias tape that's been colored. I uh, also ordered that online as well. On Etsy, of course. Support our Etsy businesses. Um, anyways, so I'm just going to do, you know, go through it and show you what's in it and uh, hopefully you'll like it. Uh, I plan on, I'm working on another journal right now, a bee journal, and then afterwards I think I'm going to do another fairy journal to list in my Etsy, so keep an eye out. But I, my Etsy shop is going to be closed the month of February because I will be up there for the entire month pretty much. Um, so... Uh, just look for when I get back. I'll post when I get back. But anyways, here we go. Here's the flip through. So I, let me move it up so you can see. Okay. So when you first open it, I want to make sure I get the whole thing. Okay. When you first open it, there's a front pocket right here. And I took these graphics in and um, they were digitals. And I changed some colors. I actually, you know, well, you'll see. Anyways. And then here's a paper that I just put in for journaling and stenciled on. And like I said, this is uh, started out to be three signatures, but I ended up adding an extra signature, and I'll show you that in a minute. And then there's little fairy sayings. Here's a little pocket with a tag, and this has a topper that matches the material from the journal. On blank pages, I try to add something small just to break it up a little bit so it's not totally blank. And here's a belly band, and this has a journaling card, and a little note card. I think I can turn this this way. And then here's a pocket, and this has... Um, a botanical with a little word fairies and then I put this little fairy on there for journaling and it's made out of the papers that come in the kit and I collaged this is a collage paper and then these are from the kit and then this is an envelope with a card in there most of my journals have a lot of space for journaling because I assume that's what it's for. Coffee dyed paper. Look at this kit, it's not beautiful. And this is a page that I collaged around the edge so you can journal on here. And this one, I brought a fairy into this. This is a uh, paper and then I overlaid the fairy and the um, mushrooms from the kit onto that. And then here's a pocket made from my glue book. And I have a video about how I uh, use my scraps to make these pages. And then this is just a little thing of scrap papers. 
for her to journal on. And because there's three signatures, and if you know my work, you know that pretty much each signature has some of the same elements in it. Um, each signature in this book uh, is the same, and there is a pad of paper in each one, but the colors are a little different. I've recolored them. so. And this is just a piece of packing paper that I sewed some flowers. And this page is sewed around to make a pocket. So they're stitching all the way around, and then there's a journaling card inside. And this is just one of the fairies off the paper, um, and I just cut it out and put it on there. This is the center, and then here's a, an altered paper clip here with a note card for journaling. The altered paper clips just stick right over the page. Um, let me see if I can get that back on. There we go. Okay, and then what I did is I took this paper and tucked it under there as well. So there's another fairy and just a blank paper. And this is a Rita Donnelly flip. That I just collage. This paper is like old scrapbook paper. Um, and again, these are um, my glue paper tags um, with a fairy on top. This is just a coffee dyed 3x5. And then this was in the kit. This actually is two different kits combined. So um, I'll link where I got those. Another, this is the other side of the packing paper because we're still in signature one. And here's a horizontal belly band. And there's a journaling card. And again, there's a pad of paper and there's a pad in each signature, but different color. And so the green one has a green ribbon on it. And this is the other side of that collaged page. I love these little girls, they're so cute. And uh, this is just a packing paper ruffle, and then I put the gold leaf on there. I thought that was pretty. And then there's a tag for journaling. And another tag for journaling. And then that's the end of that signature. And now this is the second signature. Isn't she so cute? And this is a Rita Donnelly flip. And this is the, the personalized card. Usually in my journals I add a piece of my own artwork, just a downsized print of something that's one of my originals. And, and I don't need to do it in this one because I gave her an original when she had her uh, first baby, her son. But I thought this would be nice. Uh, she is the daughter of my sister who passed away very young. Um, so I think Molly was 11, I think, when, when my sister passed away. But anyways, so this is a special card I made for her. And this is my sister's senior picture from school. And this is Molly's senior picture. And I put in here on a piece of vellum with a fairy, the first thing we ever had in common was knowing the sound of our mother's heartbeat from the inside. So that's a little personal message to Molly. And then here's a belly band. And again, another card and some journaling paper. And here's a, an envelope in here. Let's see if I can pull that out with some cards in it. I reinforced this piece right here so that you could pull it in and out of there and you know that it would go in and out and, and stay flat. And then here's a couple of journey, journaling cards that I put in this pocket here. I love this little pocket. It's still lots of space for journaling. And this is the collage page in this signature. And here's that the other little paper notebook that I made. 
only this one's got the blue fairy in it. And this packing paper, instead of having the flowers down the side, I did a little a leaf motif all the way around, sewed that on there. And then this is the pocket, but instead of having a journaling card, I actually um, tried to do like a repeating pattern on paper with some of these fairies, and it came out kind of cute. Uh, but I get, went ahead and sewed it together with this piece of paper so she's got some journaling space in there. And then on this page, I made this little fairy green so she matches there. And here's another little pocket with a journaling card. That's the middle of the signature. Here's another Rita Donnelly flip. And this says, let your soul sparkle and your heart flutter. And again, this is a tag that I made out of my glue book with a fairy on it, coffee dyed 3x5 index cards that says those who don't believe in magic will never find it. And then this is a tag included in the kit. And then here's that pad, the second pad of paper that has a purple fairy and a purple bow. So it's just some lined paper. And then this one has the purple fairy. And the other side of the collaged paper. I love this effect. I actually learned, I watched a, a video by uh, Gail Agustinelli, and she did this. Uh, I watched it a long time ago, and I've included this in every one of my journals because I just love it. And then this is just a little uh, piece that I put together. They have um, the gold leaf, some thread, some cheesecloth, piece of the cover. Here's some cheesecloth and a little purple fairy. Really cute. This has fairy in the definition of the fairy. And this just says fairy garden. This is one of the pages out of the and then this I actually it was blank pages and so I put the fairies on there just to break it up a little bit and I sewed some lace right on here and this is actually light enough you can write right on there so Molly will be able to write on there about the baby I just loved it and then this is the last signature. Well, I was going to say this one right here was an add-on signature. Let me go back real quick. And this one right here was an add-on signature. I added it at the end because I wanted more lined space for her to journal in. So this is kind of an added in piece. Then this is the third signature, the original third signature, which is now the fourth. And this was a little flower that I die cut and I made her blue. And then this is a little paper clip and then this journaling faux envelope. Look at how cute that house is, that little fairy house. <laughs> And then, of course, this is the belly band. It has a journaling card and a purple uh, piece of paper for journaling. And then this is that little uh, tuck, and it's got a journaling card. And here we have a little tiny library card, public library card, journaling card, and a little card that I made. And this says that beautiful smile, so I'm hoping that maybe she'll put a picture of the baby in here or something. She lives in her own little fairy tale. Okay, and then this one, here's the paper pad for this one. It's got this cute little fairy. And a journaling card. And again, you can write on these pages. And then this one here has a journaling card in it as well. 
And this fairy's blue. I just love this kit. And now this I, was actually red mushroom and I turned it blue so that I had something a little different. Here's an index card. Again, a tag made out of my glue book page with uh, a fairy on it. And this is included in the journal, but I collaged a little bit up at the top here. It looked a little blank. And this too is a Rita Donnelly flip. And this page here, I actually added this uh, botanical. I made a PNG out of it and then uh, printed over the paper, printed it over on the paper. So a PNG has a clear background. So when you print it on something, you, you'll be able to see the other thing through it. Here's a horizontal belly band with the pad of paper that is kind of red or salmony, and it's got a pink ribbon. <clears throat> and there's the collage page. And then here is my trim. Here's a little tiny envelope with a little card, a journaling card and a tag, and the tag has some of the material from the cover of the book. Then this is the, the back of the book and I um, there were these little tickets in the kit and so I inlaid the fairy and the mushroom on there and the roses and the fairy on there. And then this as well. This was a botanical, and then I put the fairy on top of it. So it's a little journaling space for her. So I'm hoping that she's going to love it. I, uh, I'm excited to give it to her. I'm more excited to see that baby. My other sister and I, my younger sister and I were able to be with Molly when her first was born because she didn't have her mom there. So um, I'm really excited that I get to be able to see this baby. This is going to be a girl. Her first was a boy. And uh, Liam's five now. So he's pretty excited about having a new sister. So anyways, I just wanted to show you this uh, flip through. Like I said, I'm going to schedule it to go up on in... Uh, schedule this video to go up uh, probably the day after I arrive up there um, and again I will I'm thinking that I'm not going to head back to Florida until probably the 27th or 28th of February that way she's having a c-section on the 9th and she'll get home probably on the 12th and then I'll have a couple weeks to help her and then I think her husband gets paternity leave um, so he can take over from there. Um, but anyways, uh, I'll let you know when the Etsy shop opens again. And as I'm working on the new journal, uh, it's a honeybee journal. Um, I've got a lot of ephemera done and I've got the pages, the signatures put together for that one. Um, but I'll kind of, I don't know if I'm going to do a preview or if I'll just do a flip through when I'm done. But um, afterwards, I'm going to do another fairy journal because I really enjoyed this. So, have a great day. Thank you so much for watching.